now. Hello, this is Billy Core from Carolina Circle Mall, and welcome back to Nostalgic Christmas. Um, we're here today with the Carolina Flyer, uh, my Windows 98 custom built that I uh, built back in August. Um, as you recall, about a month or two ago, I did a video where I swapped out the motherboard in this system for one a little bit more uh, powerful. This one is it still it's still a slot one, and it still has a Pentium 2 in it, but the Motherboard apparently can accept a Pentium 3 as well, one of the slot 1 Pentium 3s. So, um, I went on ahead and ordered one this past week with some birthday money, and it arrived today. Here it is right here. This is a 600 megahertz Pentium 3. We'll be going from a 400 megahertz Pentium 2 to this. So it should be a nice little upgrade. Um, no fan on it, just a plain heat sink, but maybe I can transplant the fan from the Pentium 2 to this, but we'll we'll have to see. Um, it should be fine, though. And we're going to go ahead and um, install it on camera. I hope this works. I hope I didn't waste about 20 bucks on this. <laughs> this came all the way from California. Go ahead and move my DeLorean out of the way. And we're just going to do it right here where, where it sits. We will unplug it from power. Again, this is a slotted processor. And the cool thing about slot processors from the late 90s is that they are very easy to, to remove and install. I forget why... Um, the concept of a slotted processor never caught on. I think it was had something to do with heat or something. I don't remember. But anyway, there's the screws removed. Won't need the screwdriver again until we put the side panel back on. Okay, set this down here. Ouch! <laughs> Landed on my foot. Uh, see if I can position the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Using a tripod, just to make you guys happy. <laughs> but there's the uh, current processor, a 400 megahertz Pentium 2. That's what was in this motherboard when I received it. Got this from this motherboard from Value Village, which. Sadly, is going out of business if it hasn't already. I am very upset about that. <laughs> I've been going there for over seven years now, and they were my main source of vintage computers because they always had them a lot, and they were very dirt cheap, usually under $10. So now I'm going to have to buy computers off eBay for $100 like the rest of the world does. And unfortunately, there are no recycling centers in my area that let you take their computers. Okay. Let's see how this comes out. It's been a while since I've done this. I don't want to break anything. Okay. I see. Actually, first we need to unplug the CPU fan. How oh, stubborn. These cables aren't helping. And yes, I probably should have it sitting down on its side. Which I guess I should do. Sorry, you're not able to see it. Okay, it's, it is out. Here's our um, P2 
Pentium 2. And let's replace it with a Pentium 3. Feels like it's in there. Okay. It is in. Nervous folks. I hope I didn't waste any money doing this, but let's head over to where the monitor is and do a smoke test. All right, let's um, plug the power in. This works. Monitor on. My fingers crossed, folks. Let's see if I just wasted about 20 bucks or not. Getting a monitor signal, that's a good sign. And oh. This motherboard is not compatible with this processor's voltage re requirements. The system has been halted. Either upgrade the motherboard or install a non-E or non-EV designated Intel Pentium 3 processor 600 megahertz or slower. That's not a good sign, folks. That is not a good sign. I gotta do some troubleshooting. Okay, so um, about a week ago, uh, I did a BIOS update on this computer in anticipation of this new processor. Because I figured, you know, if I'm getting a new processor, I, it would probably be a good idea if I updated the BIOS so I could have better support for it. Well, turns out, from what I'm understanding, this is the complete opposite. Updating the BIOS um, gives you less compatibility with certain processors. <laughs> so I had to put my old Pentium 2 back in the computer, reflash the BIOS and downgrade it to an older version, and I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully this will solve our problem. I really hope so. I don't like the idea of having wasted $20 on something that I cannot use. Well, fingers crossed, folks. Let's see if we fixed it. Uh, nervous. <laughs> okay, hard drive seeking. Monitor signal. And... Looks like we are having a lucky day. Keyboard's not plugged in correctly though. Um, that's because the PS2 keyboard port on this motherboard is a little bit flaky. So I might have to jiggle it a little bit, but it looks like we are um, good to go now. Except for the keyboard. <laughs> Should have done a benchmark beforehand with the old processor. Let's go into system properties. And um, that's showing the Pentium 3. CPU Z. Let's check it out. And it's on my network drive, but for some reason it's not my network is not working right now. Um, one moment. Okay, I just had to log on, log off and log back on for some reason, but that got my network drive to show up. So let's head into CPU Z. And yes, they do have a version that works with Windows 98. Alright, we got a Pentium 2, not Pentium 2, <laughs> Pentium 3E, Coppermine. Running at 600 megahertz. Let's 
so um, looks like our upgrade was successful. Um, if you have a Intel SE440BX-2 motherboard and you want to upgrade it to a um, 600 megahertz Pentium 3 or similar, do not upgrade to the latest to the latest BIOS because it will not work. <laughs> I found that out the hard way, but we um, were able to um, take care of that thankfully, and we now have a nice um, Pentium 3. I even have a um, Pentium 3 Intel Inside sticker on its way. Um, I thought I was going to get that today as well, but seems to be a little bit of a delay on that, so um, it will have to lie about its um, processor for a few more days. So, yeah, that was a successful upgrade. For now, Billy Core signing off. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The addresses are located at the bottom. Until next time, this is Billy Core wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.